Hi morning guys. Abram Tsikichi. I've been waking from yesterday till a.m. Went on a set. Came back. Got home around 8 p.m. Oh. I've been working from last night with the computer. Haven't slept. Um, computer was full because I always come up. I always come home with work. If it's not work, it's research. So everything that I do, um, I never went to school for it. Uh, Self-taught through research, YouTube, and other websites to improve my skills. Oh, honestly, I'm tired. <laughs> um, I've been busy with the computer clearing up the space until three o'clock. It's been what eight hours. And I started editing some pieces and uploaded them on the YouTube channel, Tikiti Production. You gotta say it's exhausting. I haven't slept. And now it's uh, 6.46, 6.43. Wow. And I'm editing the job that I, I've been working on yesterday. I believe that I can make it. I, I can make it. Um, <clears throat> all I need to do is <laughs> try not to sleep. But above everything, I, I enjoy doing my work because uh, this is all what makes sense in my life. Oh, of course, my kids are very important. But uh, as work as as working is concerned, this is what I enjoy doing. So, I haven't slept. The deadline at 10 a.m. <laughs> today. To submit everything. So, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Sorry. So let's get on with it. So I research exercise by doing it practically, whatever that I have researched. It's interesting. Um, I work on my pace, but I do not relax and say, no, I'm working on my pace. Pushing, pushing. So, what I have learned is that when people learn that things are getting tough, they, they what? Uh, I'm looking for a proper way to, to use. They throw in the towel, they give up. Yeah. And uh, I suppose that's not the, the option. You have to hit the wall so hard that it, 
eventually falls. One blow at a time. And it starts by cracking small stones or rubble falling down. Then eventually to a fall. And if you fall, just stand up. Get rid of the dust and move on. One of the greatest actors that I've known in history once said that he learned to fall. <laughs> uh, it sounded silly, yes. He learned to fall to an extent that he mastered falling. When he fell while training, it used to be painful and unbearable, but he didn't give up because he was a stuntman. So he had to learn to fall in a sense that he is going to minimize damage or trauma to his body. And he mastered that. He fell and fell and fell until he manages to master how to fall. So it was a great lesson very inspirational now with my talks let me get back to work um, So everything that you do and you do it without uh, determination, I assure you, you're going to fail. If you say you want to build a castle and you don't know how to, make a research. Learn how to lay out your foundation. Learn how to speak with people. Learn to know who's right to feed your cup, you know, because uh, our brains are like a sponge. When you pour water, it absorbs. When you pour milk, it absorbs. So you have to train your mind to differentiate between the milk and the water and the dirty water. Don't absorb everything. And with that having to be said, a uh, mind that is not busy tends to be a devil's workshop. Yep, I said it. <laughs> I said it, my friend. I said it. Yeah, I said it. So, you have to be consistent with everything that you do. Don't start something and when things don't work out the way you expect them to be and you just become like a willpower. Just sit there waiting for the next person to push you. No. Be like a river. It always flows. So... passion we always had this uh, discussion with other artists uh, I'm not only an editor I, I do a lot of things uh, videography editing script writing director I'm also a producer I produced I think about five films that are still yet to come on screen and uh, some of them they have to be Shot because of uh, uh, one of the things that I made while I was inexperienced, 
um, we shot a movie, we finished the movie, and I didn't make a backup. So we only had one drive with the whole content, shots of scenes and also the sound. So the hard drive got damaged during your shading. So <laughs> it was a tough lesson, very valuable one, but tough lesson. And it didn't come for free, of course, because uh, all funds that were spent there, it was a loss. So, never listen to someone when they say there is something for Mahala. No, there is nothing for Mahala. Um, everything has its price. Everything has its own currency. Currency. See? My tongue now is... Saying whatever it needs to say, or want to say, because I'm tired. But on a serious note, everything has its own currency. Um, take for an example, my experience of losing your footage, the experience that I've gained. Um, is that you always have to do at least three backups of what you've worked on. Um, I've paid <laughs> to gain that experience by losing something, of course money, and um, now I have to come up with another way of making funds. Uh, so, other things you'd say this is for mahala it's not mahala the fact that you didn't pop out money or lose money in the process does not mean you didn't pay for that experience that time spent during acquiring that experience it's a way of paying instead why am i saying that you could have done something with that time but you decided to give it to that particular project or whatever that you would have committed to, to, to do. So you've paid with your time. Uh, you've paid with your attention. Hence, at school, they would say, pay attention. It comes with a price. <laughs> so nothing is for Mahala. And other people pay with pain, tears. So, there is nothing that is worthless. Enough said. So, let's uh, set up. Oh, people think that I was born a genius. No, I'm not a genius. I'm a hard worker. Uh, Others perceive me as a rich person. No, I'm not rich. It's only that um, I was taught at an early age that uh, in spite of your situation, you have to make sure that at all times you are need. So I do that. However, <laughs> I'm in art industry. So some of the things that I do research, I personally prefer to be the one who who, who who leads that research if uh, one of my scripts requires um, a, a hobo homeless person a beggar I, I just put on my clothes makeup and stuff then be in that person's shoe I can even go to an extent of going to those people and uh, be part of them live their life for half a day and I have experience um, and at times I just make consistent visits for a couple of days if I was not satisfied with what I've acquired in the first day of attempt then um, um, recently I got a stigma that I was losing my mind you know? 
I'm not losing my mind. I'm doing research, and other people, they are not aware that uh, they are part of my research. Uh, I would say stupid things, and actually look at how they're going to respond and how it's going to affect me or make me react and i take notes and uh, need it be that i'll push you to your corner to a point that you feel provoked <laughs> i do that so okay others they take it personally which i understand and others they they're just chilled, you know, those chilled people that you're trying to make, get them to be angry and they just like, oh man, you know, they're so cold in a sense that you end up losing you, <laughs> whatever that you're doing, but I'm very persistent. Um, so, yeah, I do that. If I want a person to play a role that is uh, against their um, personal traits I attempt it with myself first so that when they say this I am not comfortable with it and I find a, a way of motivating them or finding um, finding a way in which it can work for them and at times when they say they can't do it, I understand because of I've been there already. Uh, I'm a team player, so as much as I do research on things that I love to learn and others are nice to know because of when I do something and I ask someone to do something, particularly when I'm on a, a producer's position. I ask someone to do something, I know what I expect and I know how hard it could be and if someone is not sure and they want to convince me that no, 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 I got it, I, I'm able to pick that up quickly. No. Wait, I'm going to get a cable. I'm going to charge a light. 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 When I work, I forget about food. Um, only thing that sustains me is tea and um, a couple of cigarettes, and I work. I 